Hello, Dolphin fans. It's a fantastic Friday here in South Florida as the Dolphins prepare to take on the Jets up in MetLife Stadium. Are some of you guys going to be part of the takeover? That'd be part, great to know. That'd be fun. I'm staying down here in South Florida, but it'd be cool if you guys are going up there. Let me know down in the comment section. Anyway, I was thinking, yes, when I start thinking, trouble happens. But do you think we have defensive woes? I was reading some articles this morning including something I wrote on DolphinThirsty.com. And, you know, our defensive stats rank pretty low. Do you think is that some defensive woes, or is it that we face real high-quality QB foes? Because we have faced Lamar Jackson, we have faced Joss Allen, and we have faced Joe Burrow in consecutive weeks. So that could hurt. The, you know, our stats and maybe a whole different style of play facing those guys that we went away from because, you know, you sometimes play differently against those big names. That's, I just, I just don't, this really got me thinking though, because when you look at the stats, we're 31st in passing yards out of the 32 teams for 30, not including last night's game. <laughs> I don't think those stats probably changed much, but going into yesterday's acting through the four games, the Dolphins rank 31st in passing yards allowed, meaning we're, you know, only one team's given up more passing yards. We're in 29th in quarterback sacks. We're 30th in um, third down defense, means, you know, teams are keep on, keep on, on getting first downs against us. And so that's not good. And we also rank next to last and actual QB pressures on the quarterback, not just sacks, but actually getting actual pressure on the quarterback. And yes, some of these teams the past few weeks have been doing those quick hitting passes. So that kind of slants maybe some stats. And yes, we're also going to be playing more normal quarterbacks here in the next few weeks. You know, we're not playing elite. They're all decent quarterbacks. We're not, we're not going to be playing to Josh Allen again and Lamar Jackson and Joe Burrow again the next week. So, you know, of course, we got another date with Josh Allen up in Buffalo, but that's nice to worry about down the road. This week against the Jets, I'm a little bit worried, but also optimistic. I think Teddy Bridgewater is Brady. I think the opposite is Brady. That's why I just was a little concerned about the defensive woes because we need to get the ball back because turnovers hasn't happened much this year. We had a couple... Um, turnovers, you know, as a result of sacks by our safeties blitzing and getting a sack on quarterbacks. Joss Allen gave one up to us and Mac Jones gave one, gave us up one. But other than that, we haven't had really many turnovers. Again, in the New England game, we had the one where um, Xavier Howard was covering Devontae Parker and he was able to tip the ball and Javon Holland was able to get the interception. But for the most part, the turnovers you know, have been down this year and we, we were not ranked anywhere near the top on creating turnovers. And that's a big part of the Dolphins defense because we do some of that bend but don't break. And we have had some at least decent fourth down stops this year. So that's helped us get out of a couple bad situations. But we really need to step up the defense. I mean, I tend to think it's because of the quarterback foals instead of the defensive foals. But you know, it's still a little concerning. We're going to see this week when, you know, they get to face Zach Wilson instead of Josh Allen or Joe Burrow slinging the ball all over the place. So we're going to see. I think it should be an improvement. Let me know what you guys think in comments if I'm just worrying about something that I shouldn't be worrying about. Because for one thing, we're three and one. Three and one at where we are right now is perfect. Because if you would have told me this season, we would have been three and one after the brutal first four games i would have been like oh i take that any day of the week i know it's always what happens so you know always we're always prisoner of the moment the last one's a loss so we're always a little bit of concern until you get that next w for our favorite team you go out there and get that w for us fans so that's what we're hoping for because it after the first five games if you can be four and one whoo, then you're looking good and then we get a couple home games you know the team's you know, there's no no such thing as an easy game in the NFL. But at least we'll be at home after the Jets game. The Jets game, I'm hoping we can continue our winning ways against us. 
I mean, for us against the Jets, it's just, it's, it's, you know, never an easy game against the Jets. It's hard for me to predict. I know a lot of fans are saying the Dolphins are going to have a cakewalk. I'm worried, but I'm an old fart, as you can see. And I remember a lot of Jet games. I thought the Dolphins would easily win him in the damn arena era, and we still lost the, to the Jets or had to eke out a victory against a lesser Jets team. And then they've had some quality teams that we've beat before when we've had off years. So it's just a weird series. I mean, it's almost tied after. It's just, it's crazy. It's, it's like Dolphins have a couple more wins in this whole series. of. It's, that's how close it is. It's just amazingly close. And I think the Dolphins have had a better history. Of course, I'm biased. I'm a Dolphin fan. But it's just when you look at the head-to-head record, it's just very close. Anyway, like I said, I just got to thinking, is it defensive woes or QB foes? What do you think? Do you think it's just the quality of play that we face and we've played a different style? Do you think Joseph Boyer is going to draw up more defensive attacks this week going against a lesser opponent? I am worried about Byron Jones and Xavier Howard's status. Xavier, I mean, Byron Jones is out for sure, and Xavier Howard is just not 100%, and you've seen it in his play over the past few weeks, playing a little softer or anything. I know his agent tweeted out that he's dealing with a double groin issue, which is, you know, which is, as we can, we all know, that's not easy to get around when you're dealing with issues in the groin area. So hopefully he can try to heal up and be ready to play. And that will help because, you know, we have to give more cushion and then that affects the whole pressure thing. So we will see. That's what I say. I really don't know. It's too soon to tell. So I really don't know if I was just thinking a lot about nothing. But I don't like the defensive rankings. So hopefully this is who we've played and we're just the season's young and we're just getting the ball rolling and we're going to be progressing from here on out i just want to get back to that because when this when we got all of our offensive weapons now i'm thinking oh man we kept the same defensive staff we got a lot of the players returning we even picked up flowers and ingram i go man we're gonna really kick butt and it just hasn't gotten there yet even though ingram's been great i mean he got afc defensive player of the mom so obviously he's done well but just as a unit it's been kind of not what i thought it was going to be at this point I do believe there's, you know, brighter light in the future as we move forward. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in comments and subscribe and like. Subscribe, I'll follow you back and I would love to grow this and let me know if you want to talk about Dolphins on a live broadcast because once I build up the network a little bit, I would love to do some live broadcasts and then add them to the YouTube and to my DolphinThirsty.com site that i just started and you know we can all grow together and if you have anything to promote promote it we can do a live show together it'd be fun like i said just growing though so i'm in that that stage yet but soon just give it a like and a subscribe like i said tackle that subscribe button and fins up on this fantastic fins-tastic friday here in south florida or i call it dolphin dolphin island where are you guys at? Also, I love to know that. Where do where are you guys picking me up from? I always love to know where everyone's at because I did a post on my Facebook for Dolphins Thirsty page, Facebook Dolphin, uh, Facebook.com Dolphins Thirsty, and I did a roll call. Man, people are from all over. I can they were all the way out in Washington, Pennsylvania, Arizona. They're just they're all over. So of course some fellow Floridians, but. It is amazing. So I would love to know where you two people are picking up. Let me know in comments where you guys are at. Anyway, that's it. Life is great. You guys are great. Dolphins are great. We may not have the biggest numbers, but our passing is bigger than any of them all. All the other fan bases. Go Dolphins. You guys rock. See you later.